Joe Biden meets Ukraine's foreign minister for the first time, Russia fires a number of missiles from the sea towards Ukraine, Russian private jets have been detained in the UK Biden may wish his Putin demise remarks do not come back to haunt him in a single sentence tucked on the end of a passionate speech in defense of democracy. The US president may well have made Western efforts to end Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine even more challenging. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Joe Biden declared in apparently unscripted remarks to an audience in Poland and broadcast worldwide. It seemed to signal a dramatic shift in U.S. policy on Russia, suggesting an open desire for new leadership at the top of the Kremlin. The White House moved quickly to try to contain the damage, issuing a statement saying Mr. Biden was not calling for regime change. But he had already at the very least ceded a gift to Moscow's propaganda machine which will doubtless use his call for an end to the Putin era to amplify false claims that the United States and its NATO allies pose an existential threat to the country. The phrase regime change has particularly difficult connotations for Washington after its disastrous 2003 war in Iraq to oust Saddam Hussein. Mariupol becoming a second Aleppo Ukrainian MP Maria Mezintseva has told Sky News that the besieged port city of Mariupol is becoming a second Aleppo. Who are the dead Russian military officers and what do their deaths tell us about Russia's operation? A Russian lieutenant general has been killed in fighting near the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson. With at least four generals killed during fighting in the city of Mariupol, the invasion of Ukraine is taking its toll on Russia's military leaders. It has been widely reported. NATO estimates that up to 15,000 Russian troops have been killed since Moscow opened hostilities last month. Find out who they are. Germany's president hosts Solidarity Concert with Ukraine featuring musicians from Russia Germany's president has hosted a Solidarity Concert with Ukraine featuring musicians from Ukraine, Russia and Belarus today. The Berlin Philharmonic played pieces by Ukrainian, Russian and Polish composers at President Frank Walter Steinmeier's Bellevue Palace in Berlin. Mr. Steinmeier, who addressed the event by video because he tested positive for COVID last week, described it as a signal for freedom and peace on Sunday. He said, let us be vigilant against sweeping animosities, and let us not succumb to, Russian President Vladimir, Putin's pseudo-historical nationalist illusion. Let us not allow Putin's hatred to become a hatred between people, in our own society either. However, Ukraine's ambassador to Germany tweeted that he had turned down an invitation. Andrei Melnik tweeted that only Russian, soloists were performing, no Ukrainians. Sorry, I'm staying away. He added, an affront. 